Introducing the all new Corolla. Superior Court Judge Anita Sokola sentenced former police officer Anthony Kenga to 30 years in prison. It was the same sentence she gave to David Manila, a former cop who was also found guilty on the same charges of kidnapping, prostitution and rape. The courtroom was packed and several people offered statements in his support. His former boss, former police chief Paul Suba. However, uh, you know, I am concerned that there are individuals that I've been speaking to and listening to that indicate that uh, the witnesses may not have been uh, as truthful as they should have been, particularly when we're looking at individuals facing life sentences for the tremendous allegations against them. You didn't get a chance to review any of the FBI reports, did you? No, I did not. You didn't get a chance to review any of the um, documents regarding the federal case, did you? No, I did not. Kenga's sister, Teresita Sablon, also gave an emotional testimony about her brother's moral character and how much he loved his family. This is my brother, and I just can't imagine things that were charged. But I, I just, I hope you can exercise some leniency. And maybe he's a good man, he has four kids, seven siblings. And all the family that's here right now. Everyone loves him and supports him. Kenga, for the first time, offered a statement. Unlike Manila, who did not make one at his sentencing but took the stand at trial, Kenga did not take the stand during his trial. But what he said today, dramatic as it was, may have been too little, too late. Since that day, I've been in jail. I was never interviewed by the FBI, INS. GPD, AGs, Special Task Force. No one even made an attempt to interview me. That's so what went on. People say they're going to make t shirts who's Tony, who's Mario. I wanted to clear my name. I was told not to worry. 17 months later, I'm in jail. Still. I wanted no plea bargain, I wanted no deal, because I know I did not do anything wrong. His defense attorney, Sylvia Stake, asked that some of the evidence be reconsidered. She also pointed out that the victim's predicaments were not caused by Kenga, but perhaps by their upbringing. The longest that any girl had to stay at Blue House was about eight months in 2007. Well, Kenga has been in prison for, for more than a year already. If um, the parents of these girls and I had been as vigilant or um, careful with their own girls as he is with his children that maybe we wouldn't be looking at all these problems. Blame the victim. It's the parents fault. People are outraged at the state. Only eight months. Only four months. Only four days. Being raped over and over. Being forced to service ten men a night. However, I still stand my ground but I am innocent. And like I said in the past, they've got the wrong Tony. 